is The Locker Room on News 3. Welcome inside our award-winning locker room show sponsored by your Hampton Roads Chevy dealers. We're just three days away from Old Dominion Football's Myrtle Beach Bowl matchup with Tulsa. Just the second bowl appearance in ODU program history. Now, while this uh, the main focus is football, there is plenty of fun for the Monarchs off the field as well. And News 3 Sports Director Mark Davis joins us from South Carolina with an inside look. Of course, the Monarchs are down here to win a football game, but part of the bowl game experience is getting out, letting loose, and having a little fun. And as you can see, the Monarchs doing that here today at a spot called Broadway at the beach. Restaurants, games, and history. All things Old Dominion players and coaches able to take in tonight. Broadway at the beach, offering the Monarchs a chance to have some fun while also seeing some football items of yesteryear. A branch of the Pro Football Hall of Fame along this walk, a gold mine for those who are passionate for the pigskin. It's super cool. Uh, I haven't really been to any, any places, like seen some things like that before, so it's cool to kind of see some history and uh, see, see what the guys kind of, the gear we have now compared to what they had then, uh, it's obviously world's different, but it's interesting. We definitely are taking time to enjoy ourselves and uh, taking this all in and have fun. Another fun outing scheduled for tomorrow night as ODU will hit the bowling alley. So of course it's the pleasure portion of the trip but coming up in sports we talk to the Monarchs about getting down to business as a big football game is going to be played Monday and they are ready to go. In Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, I'm Mark Davis for News 3. Coming up, Washington quarterback Taylor Heineke has tested positive for COVID-19 and the football team no longer gets to play on Sunday. We've got that and more on the other side of the break. Welcome back inside our award-winning locker room show sponsored by your Hampton Roads Chevy dealers. In the NFL, COVID concerns continue to mount and the Washington football team faces a big struggle. There are now 23 players on Washington's reserve COVID-19 list, more than most teams in the country. And among that list includes Washington's starting quarterback, Taylor Heineke. The former ODU standout joins his backup, Kyle Allen, on the COVID list, so the team is now forced to put together a hodgepodge of practice squad QBs at the quarterback position. Now, among Washington's starters, there's a whopping half of them out after positive COVID tests. 
Now, vaccinated players like Heineke can return to the active roster if they produce two negative rapid result tests by game day. And they have some extra time to do that because Sunday's game between Washington and the Eagles has been postponed to Tuesday. And head coach Ron Rivera is confident some players may come off the COVID list. We, we, we are hopeful. Um, we'll see what happens. I mean, you know, we're, we're obviously, you know, we, we did our testing early so we can get those, um, those tests sent up to, so they, they can be evaluated. Um, and hopefully, uh, you know, later on today, we may get some good news. Uh, we do have a few guys that, um, you know, that are close. And if, you know, one of them just happens to, to cross the threshold, you know, we'll have them back. So um, we're pretty hopeful. Tuesday's game between Washington and Philadelphia will get underway at 7 p.m. Now, Washington, not the only team battling COVID. Three other games are postponed today. Cleveland's Saturday contest versus the Raiders is pushed back to 5 p.m. on Monday. The Browns, they have 24 players on the COVID list, 12 of them starters. Now, Washington's game against the Eagles on Tuesday comes in the midst of a divisional fight for a trip to the playoffs. Also postponed to Tuesday is the Seahawks-Rams matchup. Los Angeles, they've got 29 players on the COVID list. Now, COVID cancellations are taking place here in the 757 as well. Today, Hampton University pauses all men's basketball activities due to a positive COVID-19 test since returning from Sunday's game in Maryland. The Pirates will no longer face North Carolina Central in tomorrow's Legacy Classic. Still ahead, the ODU football team got fitted for ring sizes today, and all that's left is to beat Tulsa on Monday. The Monarchs, they share with us the importance of a win when we return. Welcome back inside our award-winning locker room show sponsored by your Hampton Roads Chevy dealers. Just three days until the Old Dominion football team will face Tulsa in the Myrtle Beach Bowl with a chance to close out the season as champs and take home some hardware. Now a bowl win is a huge accomplishment for college football players and Mark Davis joins us from Myrtle Beach with more on why a win Monday would mean so much to the Monarchs. Well, as we showed you earlier, Old Dominion having all kinds of fun here at Broadway at the beach earlier this evening. But earlier today, as well as tomorrow morning, it's all about getting down to business. Ready to go. Less than 72 hours until ODU battles for a Myrtle Beach Bowl title, the second bowl game in program history. Today, the team on the practice field for the first of three tune-ups leading up to kickoff on Monday afternoon. Many of these players are experiencing the postseason for the first time and making a point to take it all in. The Monarchs' journey is well documented. A one and six start, winning five straight games to punch their bowl ticket, and now they have a chance to end 2021 with a winning record and a championship. It would be awesome, you know, for the seniors on our team, Isaac Weaver, Jordan Young, Stone Smart, all those guys, JoJo. It's, it's going to be, you know, it's really important. Important to me, important to them, important to our team. So we want to send those guys off the right way. I mean, everything, uh, everybody's tall. Uh, we've got fitted for our ring sizes, and uh, it would be awesome to actually get a ring to go on that finger um but uh yeah it, it definitely mean a lot just to uh, be able to bring a championship back to the university old dominion and tulsa kick off at 2 30 on monday the monarchs back on the practice field tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock then have a bowling outing later in the evening of course the myrtle beach bowl kicks off on monday at 2 30. in myrtle beach south carolina i'm mark davis news three sports